Hi, this is Peter from the DJ Podcast. In this video, we'll be taking an introductory look at MIDI modifiers by mapping a shift button that will allow us to use one button to turn on two effects. The first thing that you need to do to map any type of MIDI control is to go into the Preferences and then set yourself up in the Controller Manager tab. So the first thing that we're going to do before adding in our effects on off buttons is actually create the modifier button. So we're going to go to the Add In button and we're going to go all the way down to the bottom, and we're going to select modifier number one. Click the learn button, and then we will select the button that we want to use as our shift button. So we're going to use that pad there on our controller. Then we're going to tell Tractor what type of control this is. So we'll change the type of controller from fade knob to button. Then we will change the interaction mode to hold. Finally, at the bottom, we're going to set the value in the button option from 0 to 1. Next, we're going to go ahead and add in our first effects unit on off button. So we'll go add in, we'll go effects unit, unit on. I'm going to press learn, and then we're going to select another button on our controller. We're going to go and change this from button hold to toggle. Then we need to set up the modifier conditions. This is our first FX on, so we want this to be able to work without having to press the shift button. So we're gonna go to our modifier section, then we'll go M1, and we're gonna leave it set to the value of zero. Next, we're gonna go ahead and add our second FX on off button. So we'll go add in FX unit unit on. Here we're going to need to change a couple of things. First we need to make sure that the assignment is set at FX unit 2 as we don't want to have the same button doing the same thing. Then in our MIDI modifier condition we're going to go to modifier, select M1, and this time we're going to set the value to 1. So we'll go ahead and press learn again and then we're going to select that same button. So let's go and make sure we've got everything set up correctly. We'll change the interaction mode to toggle, and then we will close out of the preferences. If you press this button here, you'll notice that the first FX unit turns on. Also, if we press this button and then this one, we now turn FX unit 2 on. You can see just how easy it is to use MIDI modifiers to map multiple commands to single buttons on your MIDI controller. For more Tractor Pro 2 video tutorials and how-tos, visit thedjpodcast.com.